All right, welcome to another spray paint test. This is going to be a clear coat test, and it's going to be this clear right here. And the reason why I'm going straight for this one is because I fell for it several times in the store. I thought this stuff had glitter in it. Like if you have a surface that you want to put a clear coat on, but you also want it covered in glitter, that you would use this stuff. But apparently, this stuff does not have glitter in it. And uh, I got that from another channel, the Brad Angrove, Brad Argrove Angrove channel, and he was doing a bunch of clear coat tests, and he was saying that this is one of the really good clear coats. Uh, and to which I said, oh boy, I fell for it. I thought this had glitter in it. Uh, and to my reply, many other people replied and said, oh my goodness, I thought it had glitter in it also. And so it's, um, it's one of those names that throw you. And today we're going to test it to see what it really does. And we've got a whole bunch of spoons painted a whole bunch of different ways. And uh, I'll just go through them really quickly. The idea, apparently, behind this paint is they've got a glitter a glitter paint a glitter spray paint for sealing oh they have a paint that is has glitter in it and this is for spraying on that glitter paint and reason being because glitter leaves a whole bunch of little bumps and this supposedly is to smooth it all out if it is then that'd be great so what we're doing here we got a bunch of different examples where we will see what happens here. Now this one is just regular gloss black, but I did a terrible job on coverage. We've got, uh, you know, a bunch of uh, orange peel there. So we'll see if this... Oh, good! A little engine started up. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna keep going anyway. Oh my... That is the way things go for me. So this one is the stainless steel paint. And I'll get in really close on all of these so that you can see. This one's kind of a rough texture as well. This is the uh, cobalt blue. And this is probably the closest one to being the um, the actual paint that has the glitter in it and hopefully this will be the best example of how it might be able to, to uh, smooth that out now going for really rough we actually have truck bed liner and this is the same paint this is the same can that I painted the uh, tarantula in and this is really rough like sandpaper. We'll see what it does. Then over here I have primer. Which of course we know has a finish on it. Kind of like primer. It's got a kind of a primer finish. And we'll see if it makes it glossy or shiny. And then here we're just going to try the, uh, the, the chrome paint just to see. We're always looking for that miracle clear coat that will clear over this stuff without turning it gray or removing its luster and still, you know, maybe this is going to be the stuff that does that. Okay, so it is my hopes that that little engine turns off. By the time I get done, I'll be putting on one coat to start and I'll show you how that came out on all these. And uh, we'll see if we have to do further coats, so wish me luck. Um, hope for that engine to turn off and I'll see you in the next scene okay moving on and now in the background you can hear that the uh, the small engine turned off there's a blower in the background and there is also a guy with a saw working now you'll notice that there is dust on these now because a maintenance crew came by and edged the yards here which were already edged and uh, used a blower and blew all kinds of sand and everything up into the air the whole time it didn't need to be done so I you know we got sand in it now which might help to prove this thing you can see it certainly not clearing things there goes the saw 
Certainly not filling up all the gaps yet. This one has a kind of a weird, um, what do you call it, rim there. I put it on pretty heavy. Um, and then of course here's the chrome one. Definitely turn the chrome one into gray. So what I'll do now, that was just one coat. And it's already starting to make some progress on this. A cobalt one, which is the main interest. And so what I'll do now is I'll put some more coats on. And uh, just come back and uh, show how many coats I put on and how it looks. So I will be right back. Okay, so we ended up doing four coats. Boy, this is really in the dark. When I get up close, you... Okay. So, four coats on the gloss black, and you can see it really makes the sand stand out nice. I can't quite tell from my screen whether or not it's all smooth, especially down here at the bottom. It was a uh, very orange peel. Boy, the addition of sand really, really sets it off. Here's the stainless steel. It made the stainless... I better go out in the sun, shouldn't I? No, there we go. Now the stainless steel, it made completely smooth. We do have some crazing happening here, but that's just because I was putting the coats on too thick, I think, and too close together. I was only giving them five or ten minutes in between which uh, flash coach really should be more like 15 minutes and not so not so thick but I really like the way the stainless steel came out like that okay so now the cobalt blue yeah quite a bit better than the beginning I'll try to do a uh, flashback to the way this started Anyway, I believe it could be um, polished, or you could just kind of keep putting coats on there. Can't see anything from that angle. Okay, so here is the uh, bed liner. Go around the other side. Yeah, it just about filled it in. Definitely a unique look to it there gloss coated bed liner oh and there goes a car nice and uh, this is primer regular gray primer nice and glossy now this is the loudest day ever in my neighborhood ever and it will all stop the moment I'm done. Let me take this whole thing out to the sun to get this look at this stuff better. Okay, now we're cooking. Uh, let's get them close again. Look at that. And the cobalt. I do believe that's bed liner. Where am I? There we go. 
Anyway, that'll just about do it. So just on the uh, overspray right here on this one, you can see there's no glitter in this clear. I mean, there's sand in the, Oh, boy. This has probably been the worst that one of these tests has ever gone. And I'm glad it's over. Everybody have a good day.